Hi everyone, Stephen Port from DAPT here. Today I wanted to show you a method of attaching files to Outlook, so to an Outlook email message uh, where you want to send that externally um, directly from SharePoint without the need to sync uh, files down using the OneDrive for Business Sync client, for example, um, or having to worry about, um, you know, having recent items and all of those sorts of things um, available. So it's quite a common um, sort of question that we, we find users ask, and there's a really nice way of doing it, especially when you're using Microsoft Teams. Um, again, there are multiple ways of doing um, this, so attaching items to, uh, to Outlook. However, I quite like this process. It seems to work really well, um, so we thought we'd share it with you today. Okay, so on my screen right now, hopefully you can see um, that we have an email open ready to use ready to be sent i also have on the right hand side my sharepoint um site so my team site it's got my uh, my documents in there directly from uh, microsoft teams as well okay so what i want to do is i want to attach this and send attach an item um, that sits within here not from this main library but from a different library directly into um into uh into my outlook email so to do this, I can go into the site contents. I may want to, you know, make sure I know where this file is. So within here, I'm going into my team files and I can see that I've got this PDF that I want to be able to send out externally to a customer. Now, one of the things that I can't do is I can't just sort of click and drag that directly into Out Outlook. It just doesn't work. I know we can drag files from Outlook into SharePoint, for example, to get them uploaded, but we can't do it the other way around. It just doesn't work. So um, how do we get this file nice and easily? So if I go into attach file, over here and I go to browse web locations down at the bottom you'll notice I've got group files and because I'm a member of this team I can go over to coffee express and I can just click onto there now what that's going to do is that's going to open up my file explorer for me and within here I will see my shared documents library by default however one of the great things that I can do is I can click back onto the team name and once I've done that I can see all of the site contents so I now not only have access to the shared documents, which is the default area, but any other libraries that I may have select uh, may have created within that site, for example, I now have access to. So I know that my file that I want to share is within team files, so I can go into team files and I can find that um, that PDF just there. So I can select on that. I can go to insert if I wanted to, or I can just double click. And when it uploads, that's going to say, would I like to share a link or would I like to attach as a copy? I'm sending this externally, so I want to attach this as a copy to my email. That's going to download it directly from SharePoint and add it into my email. So you notice that I've not had to sync this document library. I've not had to go in, say, for example, um, to each individual library, say um, we're in site contents and I'll be in the, the shared documents library. If I wanted to access this through File Explorer because I've synced it, then obviously I'd have to sync that specific library. You can't really sync the whole um, the whole site there for me. So it's something that, you know, it's really quite useful, a nice useful way of being able to access all of the site's content without the need to be able to download um, all of those files. So hopefully you found this uh, as a really useful tip, but you're gonna take it away and you'll be able to start using it for when you need to send things externally. Um, remember, there will be some caveats. It does have to be a Microsoft Teams or a group site. So it has to have that Outlook enabled um, sort of team functionality within there for you to be able to discover that. Um, if you have created teams and removed that team, say for example, from um, from Outlook, um, from that discovery, they won't necessarily show within um, that option as well. So just remember if you're creating teams through that normal approach, some of that hidden functionality behind the scenes is needed um, and you can turn that on or off using, you know, some PowerShell um, if you wanted to. But hopefully you found this tip useful. Um, and you can go and use it. We will be sharing some of the other ways of getting attachments into emails um, to share externally or to share internally as well. Um, but for now, we'll leave you with this one and we'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot.